rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Did that guy just pop in? Oh, we're in Hogsmeade. And here we are. It is hard to know where to Cut. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Trees. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Rebellion. Sardawan's precious cauldrons. This particular precariously stacked set of cauldrons outside Sardawan's adv advertises the shop's wares. It should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while admittedly eye catching, is ill advised for anyone wishing to brew a potion for any intended effect. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Okay. Yourself. I will see you soon. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using the field guides map. We are right here. Okay. I'm going to start by I think this is one of the places we have to go into or at least I thought it was Oh. Going to. I think this is one of the places. Yeah, this is one of the places. Mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course. And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Oh, that's... Coin. Okay. Not going to sell anything just yet. Small potions. Get that. 
and that. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. I only have 300. Can't get anything just yet. Okay, I need... Now I'm going to save all, all of Anders until the end. Oop. Uh, what do I need to look for? Uh, potions. It's right here. Hobbshead Alley. J. Pippin's Potions. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Okay, looks like we need to get these two. Recipe of healing potion. Recipe for a potion that causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin, hoping to protect them from harm. Okay. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or Can't get anything though. In a rush today. Already have some of that. Strength of the dead. Essence gathered from an inf in very ingredient for thunder brood. Okay. Magic neat net. Uh, that's where I need to go. Sorry, don't mean to run into that. West Hogsmeade. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? 
Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Ethne seed. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Uh, going to get that. If I don't have anything to have enough to get anything else, I think. Okay. Off to all of Anders. Which is right there. I'm excited to see if all of Anders is actually here. Is all of Ender actually here? I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Hmm. Uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches? Hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm, no, not you. Uh, uh, mm, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Goodness! Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here, take it. I think this is the one. I feel like this is the one since it's letting us choose. Now, but type, pair, core type, phoenix feather, flexibility, unbending, 10 inches. Curious indeed. Gray, dark gray, dark brown, honey brown, ash brown, light brown, gray, warm brown. I think I'm going to go with dark gray. Wood type. 
Curious indeed. A Chaya, other apple, ash. Aspen, beech, blackthorn, black walnut, cedar, cherry, chestnut, cypress, dogwood, ebony, elder, elm, English oak, fir, hawthorn, hazel, holly, hornbeam, larch, laurel, maple, pear pine, poplar, red oak, Redwood, Rowan, Silver Lime, Spruce, Sycamore, Vine, Walnut, Willow, Yew. How intriguing. Nine and a half inches, fourteen and a half inches. Oh, that's the largest it can be. Fifteen, fourteen and a quarter inches, fourteen, thirteen and three quarters inches. I think I'm going to go with twelve and three quarters. Unyielding, slightly yielding, unbending, rigid, stiff, solid, hard, brittle, pliant, would be. Reasonably supple, supple, slightly springy, swishy, surprisingly swishy, quite flexible, very flexible, fairly bendy, quite bendy, supple. How intriguing. I think I'm going to go with swishy. Uh, Phoenix Feather, Unicorn Hair, Dragon... Kinda wanna go with F Phoenix Feather. Okay. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Thank you. I was... Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. I was smiling the entire time we were in there. I've always wanted to get my own one. Aha. Uh -huh. I've always wanted but butter beer as well. Sorry, I didn't mean to come in through the back. I'll come in through the front this time, I promise. That's cool. That's awesome.
Okay.